Hello learners, I am Dr. Subhash Chandar, Department of Education, University of Delhi. Today I am going to talk about one very critical issue in education, addressing the special curricular issues in the curriculum. It is part of Unit 15, Curricular Issues and Quality Concerns in Secondary Education. In recent years, we have seen there are a lot of changes which has taken place in the ways of curriculum development. Apart from the approaches of curriculum de development, we have seen a lot of changes in the models of curriculum development also. But the core of curriculum development has remained same. The importance given to the learner, the context of the learner and the society remains the main idea behind any curriculum development which takes place across the globe. In this module, we will understand the relevance of present secondary school curriculum. We will try to critically analyze the curriculum framework in Indian context. We will discuss the issues and concerns in the curriculum of secondary school. We will reflect on addressing the issues of special curricular areas of knowledge in the secondary school. We will discuss the essence of developing metacognitive skills and creative capitals in the secondary education. The secondary school and the education which is given in the secondary school is very important part of the whole development of a learner. The years of secondary school are the years in which rapid physical and psychological changes are happening. The years of adolescence. The transition from elementary school to secondary education in itself is something which is very important for these learners. During the years of transition, there are a lot of challenges which students face with respect to the physical changes which are happening, the psychological changes which are happening and they are dealing with a lot of changes in terms of energy also. These are the years where they are developing their aspirations, their aptitude towards different fields and their needs are also changing. These are the years where they are making new friendships, they are trying to make new uh, goals in their life. So it becomes very important that secondary school curriculum addresses these aspirations and needs among the learners. Some of the major concerns during the secondary school curriculum is that they are more focused towards subject areas like science, social sciences and mathematics. Being subject centric is something which does not help in the overall development of the learners. The aspiration and needs of the learners need to be catered by these uh, subjects. But sometimes what happens that uh, uh, the, the, the areas in which the students are interested are not addressed by these subjects. So it is important that we look more rigorously into these concerns. When we reflect about the curricular practices which are happening in secondary schools, they also need to be uh, addressed. If you will see the distribution of time among uh, the learners and their learning experiences which are given in 9th and 10th, you will realize that the time distribution is not appropriate. Some of the teachers and in majority of the schools you will see that during 10th uh, the approach of the teachers is purely examination centric and as the approach is purely examination centric the students do not find interest in the curricular practices which are happening in the schools. So the hurriedly completion of the curriculum also creates hindrance in their learning. Third, it is very important to reflect about the content centric pedagogy rather than the learner centric pedagogy which needs to be used in schools. 
as we focus more on exams the approach of teachers also becomes very content centric so it is important for the teachers as well as the schools to reflect about the curricular practices in secondary schools in schools we realize that the kind of subjects which are offered to the learners are also limited although we see that there are a lot of boards uh, in indian context who give alternative subjects uh, to the students but schools do not offer these subjects to the students so there is a lack of sync between the aspiration of the learners the context of the learners and the kind of subject which are offered so if you will see cbsc gives lot of options of elective subjects in secondary schools also but uh, some of the schools you will see only some of the schools give uh, options uh, to the students where uh, they can opt for uh, these different kind of areas also it is important to understand the life experiences are changing uh, among our learners in last two decades you will realize that there is a lot of influence of technology which has uh, taken place and with this change in technology and globalization we have seen that context of the learners is also changes we have also seen that the life experiences of the learners are changing in last two decades we have seen rapid changes happening in the context of the learner it is not just the technology which has changed the the way world is uh, organized for the learners but also the globalization which has taken place around the learner has made a lot of impact on the life experiences of the learner life experiences have changed with the social structures also there is a lot of demographic changes which has taken place and with these changes there is lot of changes in the experiences of the learner but there is a challenge that these experiences are disconnected with the curriculum the curriculum does not change that frequently and uh, it creates lot of disconnect among the learners with respect to the subjects they study under these curriculums and the experience which they get in these curriculums specifically talking about the influence of technology on the learners and the context of the learners we can clearly see that the influence of technology has changed the way learners see their life they experience life very differently uh, as with with help of technology the kind of exposure they have is completely different we have seen in last two decades the kind of availability of software as well as hardware to learners has changed the way they access information also the input of information to the learners has changed their experiences and this is quite evident in theories like connectivism who uh, you know talk about the way cognition change has changed among our learners in secondary schools also the way students are connected with each other outside the schools also influence their experiences this influence of technology has given access of information to remote places also and this multiple so the availability of multiple sources has changed the way knowledge is organized for the learners curriculum needs drastic changes to accommodate such rapid changes because things are changing rapidly the way we organize our pedagogy the way we organize our content for the learners also need to change today is the world of artificial intelligence and virtual reality so it is important that we guide our learners to be prepared for the better world and also contribute for a better world coming to the current curriculum framework for secondary uh, schools we uh, have to understand that after uh, so many years of uh, ncf 2005 we have seen lot of changes in the way curriculum is being organized in schools although with new education policy uh, 2020 we are looking forward to changes in this curriculum framework 
But currently, the curriculum framework which we are using in schools is NCF 2005. NCF 2005 articulates uh, the overall uh, education experience in five different parts. These are perspectives of education, curricular areas, school stages and assessment, learning and knowledge, school and classroom environment and systemic reforms. Perspectives of education targets or uh, has kept its objectives as to strengthen the national system of education for a most diverse society like India. It also focuses on integrating the examination system into classroom learning experiences so that we talk about assessment for learning rather than assessment of learning. It also focuses on reducing the curriculum burden among the learners so that they learn better and learn with their experiences. It also focuses on curriculum which is enshrined with values and concerns for the democracy uh, of our country. It tries to ensure the quality education at all levels of school education. It has kept uh, one of the most important aims as ensuring education for all caste, creeds, religions and uh, sex provided the curriculum is standardized uh, for all. The second part of learning and knowledge, it focuses on holistic development of the learner and it focuses on enhancing the physical and psychological development of the learners. It also focuses on opportunities which are given to the school uh, to the children through school where the school nurtures their curiosity, their voices through curriculum experiences. It tries to bring knowledge of different disciplines closer to each other and develop uh, uh, the knowledge of the learners accordingly. It focuses on encouraging uh, the learners to interact with their peers and their teachers and other stakeholders more meaningfully and creating more learning opportunities this way. It also focuses on the development of the learning among the learners through their experiences in their local environment. It also gives importance to the uh, context of the learners through the pedagogy. It emphasizes on engaging the learners in a process which is more scientific in nature. It emphasizes on helping them to observe, explore, discover, analyze and critically reflect about not just their surrounding and uh, what is happening globally but also in their local and national context. But one of the most important things is they reflect on the inclusive nature of their classroom and the schools so that they participate in creating an inclusive environment in their schools and classrooms. The curricular areas which are focused in NCF 2005 is divided into languages, mathematics, science and social sciences. If you will see languages, uh, languages focus on developing through the nature of the language the skills of the learners uh, in terms of speaking, writing and reading skills. Also, it emphasizes on uh, writing across different disciplines uh, of the school. Mathematics, according to NCF 2005, should emphasize not just on the concept which are there uh, in the uh, curriculum but also they sh it should focus on mathematical communication among the learners. It also should help the learner to think critically and reason. When you talk about science, the most one of the most important focus of NCF 2005 is to engage the learner in scientific methods and processes. It also expects the learner to engage in local as well as national and global issues and concerns which are there. 
when you come to social sciences, apart from the whole idea and nature of social sciences, it focuses on developing the concept of the learners through an interdisciplinary approach. It also focuses on national concerns like gender, justice, human rights and sensitivity. It emphasizes on uh, developing areas like work, art, health and physical education among the learners through the sec secondary school curriculum. These are some of the highlights of NCF 2005 through the curriculum area, curricular areas which it focuses. NCF 2005 also talks about metacognitive skills and developing creative capital among the learners. It focuses on ability to access, analyze and synthesize knowledge, select and evaluate knowledge in a more informal world where they can apply what they have learned in their environment. And this ability to develop and apply their intelligence, their knowledge in their environment is something which the curriculum needs to develop. It also emphasizes on learning in collaboration. This collaboration will help the learners to communicate with each other, with the peers and with people around themselves. It helps the learners if they understand to resolve conflicts because the situation around them locally, nationally and globally requires them to understand conflicts differently and they need to be prepared to solve and at least reflect about those conflicts. There are unpredictable problems, there are unforeseeable circumstances where our learners need to cope in uh, our society. So our curriculum requires them to focus on this ability to think about uh, uh, these circumstances and cope with them. It is not just about building their careers, it is about negotiating through these challenges and building their lives in a better way and contribute as a citizen in a better way. It also envisions the learners as thinkers, as a learner who learns throughout their lives. One of the very important ideas of NCF 2005 is to develop the creative capital uh, of the learners and utilize them in the development of not just the individual learner but everybody around them. So we have understood the curricular issues which are there and the concerns which NCF 2005 has raised. Although we may not be able to discuss all the areas of the curriculum here, but it is important for us to highlight some of the challenges which are there in curriculum. We need to address the traditional approach which is there in organization of the curriculum, which is mostly subject centric. It is also important that we think about the areas which are different from the disciplinary areas. Art and craft education, work education, peace education, life skill education, sports and physical education, value education, health and well-being, nutrition, etc. etc. These are some of them which we need to uh, address in our curriculums also. Let us discuss about some of these. Education for peace. It is essential for our learners to develop, nurture, ethical development, inculcate the values of human rights, justice, tolerance, social responsibility among themselves. They need to understand how to live in harmony with each other, with people there in their society, in their community, in the whole nation as well as globally. How do we address this in our curriculum is also a major concern. It is important for us to think and visualize our curriculum in such a way that we build more stories, narratives, activities, case studies and interactions within our curriculum, within our uh, pedagogy also, so that they nurture 
the idea of peace among themselves. Work and education is a very important aspect which we have to address among learners. It is not just about the superficial idea of SUPW which has been used in schools. It is important this, that we go beyond the nominal use of SUPW activities and enable our learners to be more disciplined, self-controlled and focus their energies in more useful activities which are there. So it is important that they explore more areas among themselves, learn those skills through their curriculum, through the pedagogy which is suggested in the curriculum, so that they relate with the curriculum as well as relate the curriculum with their homes, school, society, as well as later on in the workplace. Life skills and value education is given importance in the curriculums right now. Life skills is an evolving concept. If we see life skills keep on changing with the way in which our society, our environment is changing. So it is important not just to encourage the learners to be empathetic towards others, not just to be more inclusive in their approach, but also to understand about their own culture, improve critical thinking, creative thinking, so that they are better problem solvers. It is important for them to have a balanced approach towards decision making. It is important that they are more responsible for themselves as well as for others. Because it is not just the individual development which is important, but what kind of individual we are facilitating uh, for the society is also a very important concern. So we need to have strategic accommodation of core life skills in the topics across different uh, subjects in the curriculum. Also, it is important that we design our curriculum in such a way that different subjects are contributing towards the development of the learner. Also, it is important that apart from these curriculums, we nurture the life skills and value values among our learners through different activities. So our curriculum needs to be designed, designed in a very different manner. Art and craft education is given importance in uh, the curriculum, which talks about sense of creativity among the learners. Because it is important for us to nurture creativity, appreciation towards environment, skills and aesthetics among our learners and these opportunities need to be given to the learners through art and craft education. So it is important for us to revisualize art and craft education in such a way that they relate with this area with other disciplines. Health and physical education is something which is, which is going to become critical in coming years. With the change in lifestyle and environment not just in the urban areas but also in the rural areas of our country, it is important that we focus on holistic development of the learners. It is important that we nurture the idea of working towards their health. Introduction of yoga is one of the very important ideas which has taken place in uh, recent, not just in policies, but also in programs in school education. So it is important for us to revisualize our education system where in our school curriculum, we give importance to yoga, games and sports. Another concern for us as humans is environmental conservation and sustainable development. We are noticing global warming around us. We are noticing increase in pollution across different areas. We are experiencing exploitation of natural resources. So we need a learner who is more sensitive towards these issues. We need a learner who thinks about these issues and 
who can come up with solutions for these issues. We need sustainable development which also involves lack of wastage and excessive use of resources. We need to conserve resources. We need our learners who are able to protect and control the pollution which is taking place. We need a learner who is more prepared to address the biological diversity of our earth. We need a learner who thinks about recycling resources which are there so that we have a sustainable growth in future. So it is important that we think about use of alternative resources for development to work. Thus, our curriculum also needs to take lead in these areas. With this, I would like to thank you to patiently listening uh, for this presentation. Thank you.